this is uh, part two of the video uh, where I show you the results of the measurements done on A123 system uh, uh, battery. Uh, the battery is made out of uh, eight cells and you can see more details about the setup and battery in the first part of this video if you didn't watch that one first. And um, what you see here it's the discharge curve um, the voltage discharge of uh, the battery at uh, 0 0.5 C so um, it seems a pretty typical curve for a lithium iron uh, phosphate battery so uh, there is nothing special about this one and um, the total capacity seems to be around 18.3 amp hour so it's not really the the spec 20 amp hour capacity but these cells are probably uh, quality control rejected or something like that I purchased them from China and um, so uh, this is the capacity that you get when you buy this uh, this type of cells I think they are still good cells uh, nevertheless so uh, I'm, I'm happy with uh, with them and this is the current it's um, of course it uh, it's almost constant uh, 9.6 9.7 amps so uh, about half of the uh, capacity which is uh, 20 amp hour so it, the discharge took almost two hours and um, this is the power curve I don't think that's, that this has any relevance except uh, for for me that I calculated um, efficiency of the 300 watt uh, pure sine wave power inverter and it seems that one is uh, not that great at around 81% efficient or something like that so uh, not really the best one but um, it's it's not bad it seems to be good quality and it has a low um, uh, current without load so uh, it is not bad and this these are the uh, charge curves um, as you can see it took uh, almost uh, 260 minutes but um, I made uh, a pre-charge before this around half an hour at 2 amps so it's not really uh, the start of the charge uh, cycle but um, it's good enough to have an idea of uh, how this battery will charge and um, so and this is the current uh, uh, again um, there are only 10 milliamp per division so the current the charge current was quite constant I mean um, the constant current power supply that I used was uh, was quite good I'm impressed with that one I think I will buy another one I hope that soon I will uh, get the time to to test also these uh, 100 amp hour uh, batteries this will be my main battery for my off-grid house so um, I hope to do a charge and discharge test similar to this one for for these larger batteries and um, I will need to find a suitable load uh, since I have a good uh, 2400 watt uh, inverter that I can use but uh, I will need to find um, a load that will uh, draw about 1000 watt or something like that for 0 0.5 C um, and I know it will create a, a lot of heat so that's not very good because it's it is summer here and it's quite hot so 
I'm not sure when I will uh, get the chance to do this. Um, this is all. Thanks for watching the video and uh, of course if you have any questions please leave a comment and I will try to answer.